In this video, I'm going to share one simple strategy to help you double your vocabulary without learning new words. Yes, this is possible and I'll show you exactly how. And of course, expanding your vocabulary will help you improve other areas of your fluency. Your ability to speak is all about how many words you have, your ability to read and your ability to write. Step one, retain. What do I mean by this? Well, let's say in one week you learn 30 new words, but the next week, you don't remember any of them. You can't use them in your speech. So they won't help you with your speaking, your reading, or your writing. You just wasted your time. So it may seem very obvious, well, Jennifer, of course I need to retain my vocabulary, but this is one area that I find students neglect. And scientifically, our brains forget information very quickly. If you don't use strategies to retain that information, if you learn 30 new words in one week, well, scientifically, you will forget 50% of that information in 24 hours if you don't use strategies to retain it. And even worse, you will forget 80% of those new words after 48 hours. So you didn't learn 30 new words because they weren't added to your permanent vocabulary. So one of the easiest ways to double your vocabulary without learning new words is to retain, to permanently remember the words you learn. I have three simple strategies, three free strategies to help you retain your vocabulary. Repetition, this is extremely important. Yes, it's a little bit boring, but your brain requires it in order to permanently remember what you learn. So for repetition, you can repeat what you just learned out loud. Let's say you learned the phrasal verb figure out. Well, simply repeat figure out, and then you can state the definition to figure out, to solve something. I figured out how to solve the problem. So you can say the individual word, say the definition, say practice sentences out loud. And the more you do that, the better and faster your brain will permanently remember that. You can say it out loud, but writing it down is so beneficial. Now, I generally take my notes on a computer electronically. It is slightly better for your brain if you write it with a pen and a piece of paper. However, if you're not able to do that, take electronic notes because writing it down electronically is a lot better than not writing it down at all, even though writing it down with a pen and piece of paper is slightly better than electronic for your memory. Let's move on to recall. And the best way to get recall is with flashcards. So when you recall information, it means you need to bring it to your mind without a prompt. So if I'm reading the definition of the phrasal verb figure out, I'm not recalling that information because I see the definition and the word. But don't get me wrong, repetition, seeing the word and the definition is still extremely important. But for recall, you might have a flashcard where it just says figure out and you need to think of the definition without any hints or you see the definition and you have to think of what phrasal verb matches that definition. This is different practice from repetition because it forces your brain to think about that information and to retrieve it, to recall it. And while doing that, it forms new connections, which helps you permanently remember that word. And finally, quizzes, which I think are really fun. And that's why I include them in all my lessons where you learn vocabulary. Of course, you can create your own quizzes as well. 
Now with quizzes, the thing is that you're testing many different areas. You might have a quiz that writes a sentence, but there's a mistake with the verb conjugation, or there's a mistake with the use of that word. So you have to look at it, think about what that mistake is, and then correct the mistake. So it's really using a lot of different skills in your brain. You're thinking about grammar, you're thinking about sentence structure, you're thinking about that new word as well. So for now, for all my vocabulary lessons, you can use my quizzes and feel free to create Create your own or look for online quizzes as well. Step one, retain the information. So if you learn 30 words one week and you retain all 30 words, you've already more than doubled your vocabulary because scientifically we forget 80% of new information without retaining it. So step one, retain. Step two, learn different forms. This is a great tip. Let's say you learn to be consistent and your example sentence, which you're going to repeat, recall, and do quizzes on is, she is consistent. First of all, what type of word is consistent? What part of speech is it? A subject, a noun, an article, a verb, an adjective, an adverb. Do you know? To be consistent, she is consistent. Consistent is an adjective that describes her. But don't stop there. This is the adjective form. But did you know there are many different forms of the verb consistent and they're extremely easy to learn and they'll more than double your vocabulary. You can easily learn the word consistency. You already know consistent. Also remember consistency. Now you've just doubled your vocabulary because this is a different form of the word and we use it in different sentence structures. So what form of the word is this? We know that consistent is an adjective. Consistency with my example sentence. Consistency is important when learning. What type of word is this? This is a noun and this is a gerund statement because you're using it to make a general statement. How about you triple your vocabulary by adding the form consistently? She's consistently on time. This is an action being on time that she does over and over again. She's consistently on time. What form of the word is this? Do you know? She's consistently, well, most students know when it ends in L-Y, that's an indication that it's an adverb, an adverb. So now instead of learning one word, the adjective consistent, you also learn the noun consistency and you learn the adverb consistently, so you've tripled your vocabulary. Now, not every single word has multiple forms like this, but you can always find different ways to take that one word and see how you can use it in a different way. Let's review step one, you learn a new word and then you retain it through repetition, recall, and Quizzes, did you already forget those three ways? Because you didn't repeat the information. See how easy it is to forget new information? So step one is to retain. Step two, you're going to learn different forms. And that way, when you learn one word, you could learn two, three, four, or even more at once. So you could double, triple, even quadruple your vocabulary. Now, finally, step three, you're going to learn full sentences. One mistake that students make when learning vocabulary is they just learn one word, like the word interested, interested and they associate the word with a definition. But you can't just say the word interested and communicate an idea. You need a full sentence. You need to take that word interested and know what other information you need, what other words you need to actually communicate a full idea. 
whether in spoken English or written English. But the good news is that you already know this information. So you're not learning new words. You're taking existing words that you know, like the preposition in or the verb to be, and you're simply remembering that it's not interested, it's to be interested in something. And if it's a verb, you need the ing. So you're more than doubling your vocabulary by remembering, retaining, permanently remembering the words required to fo form full ideas. This is such a valuable tip because you can take this a lot further. You can change the subject. She's interested. You can make it negative. They're not interested. You can ask a question. Are we interested? You can use a different form of the verb. In this case, the past simple. I was interested. You could use a conditional. We would be interested. You could use another conditional, if I'm interested. And you can go on and on. And then you take this one word interested and all of a sudden you have more than doubled your vocabulary because you can use it in so many different ways to communicate different ideas. Now you know exactly how to double your vocabulary. Step one, retain. Step two, learn different forms. And step three, learn full sentences. And all of this will make you really happy. I don't know how to draw, so this is the best I can do because you can speak confidently, you can read, you can write, and you can improve all areas of your fluency. So now it's time to practice all three steps. I have an amazing vocabulary lesson, so click it right now, watch it, and practice the three steps.